Lyme disease is a tick-borne illness. So tick-borne meaning that you have to have uh, the bite of a tick transmits the bacteria. The bacteria is called Borrelia burgdorferi. And um, so Lyme disease is caused by mainly that bacteria in the United States. What it does is it causes an inflammatory response. So uh, when the bacteria enter the body, or the fir at the first point during the skin, your, your immune system recognizes that. It releases cytokines and other molecules, and it forms this inflammatory response, and that's typically what we see when we see the rash. And that occurs at different levels of the body, you know, when we have infection in the knee, when we have infection in the heart, and to other, in, the, in the nervous system as well. So initially, when people get infected with the bacteria, they can have flu-like symptoms. So they may not necessarily even know that they're infected. They may have a headache, they may have a little bit of fever, they may have muscle aches, um, joint pains, uh, and it can be fairly nonspecific, or they may develop swollen glands and more severe symptoms. As the infection uh, goes on, they can, uh, the bacteria can spread. So it can spread to the, uh, the joints, it can spread to the to your heart and it gets spread to the nervous system. So then patients may develop symptoms such as joint pain and swelling. They can develop palpitations of their heart or irregular heartbeat. They can also develop uh, nervous system uh, symptoms such as a facial palsy, changes in their uh, sensory uh, input. They can have um, cognitive issues, they can develop headaches, stiff neck. People think it's diagnosed by a test, and however, that's really not true, because early on in Lyme disease, the tests are really not very useful, uh, because your body doesn't produce the antibodies to, for that test to be positive. So really, when we look at patients early on, we look for the clinical manifestations and exposure risks. So in order for you to get Lyme disease, you have to have been exposed to a tick. So do you do activities where you're exposed to ticks? That would be one. Now, keep in mind, not everybody remembers having a tick bite. Um, so that would be one. Two would be their clinical manifestation. So did they have a rash? And again, not everybody has a rash. Only 70 to 80% of people have rash. So it's possible to have you know, Lyme disease and not have rash, but we look for these things. We look for their symptoms, and then we put the whole picture together. Lyme disease can be treated uh, with uh, antibiotics. You know, so it's an infection caused by a bacteria, and typically we'll treat that with antibiotics. So there are a variety of different antibiotics that can be used. The most commonly used are typically doxycycline and amoxicillin. At our program, uh, which we call Lyme Care Plus, we offer um, conventional treatments and diagnostics. So, you know, for patients who have acute Lyme disease, you know, we offer uh, antibiotic therapy, both oral and IV, with the PIC line placement if it's necessary. We can do um, uh, lumbar punctures and um, get arthrocentesis done if that's necessary. Uh, and we treat those patients with antibiotics.